a shop in Coventry has installed the first Bitcoin cash machine in the Midlands. It allows customers to buy and sell the controversial digital currency. Well, according to the owners, it's proved very popular. So is Bitcoin going mainstream? Well, our science correspondent, David Gregory Kumar, has been investigating and joins me now. David, fair to say many still don't really understand what the Bitcoin is all about. So can you explain? I can explain the Bitcoin, Mary. It's basically magic internet money. And it's not just Bitcoin anymore. There's now lots of these digital currencies, but the basics are all the same. Unlike any normal currency, Bitcoin is not controlled by a central bank or a government. Instead, it depends on a network of computers. Now, they all record the transactions and then you hold the Bitcoin in a wallet stored on your smartphone or computer with a unique identify, identifying number. And that means you can send or receive Bitcoins. And new Bitcoin are then created in a process called mining, which involves computers solving increasingly complex problems. Here we have two L3 and mines. here are some Bitcoin mining machines working flat out in a flat in Birmingham. Actually, these machines are mining another digital currency called Litecoin. They're noisy and they're quite hot. They are a little bit noisy, hence why they're going to be moving to a garage quite soon. <laughs> These machines generate some money, but it's trading in Bitcoin and other digital currencies where James is really turning a profit. Having started with £500, he now has... I've been as high as 360, but uh, currently roughly around the 200,000 mark. That's a lot of money. Yes. <laughs> But for most of us, buying and selling Bitcoin remains dauntingly technical. But in a Coventry shop, this new machine aims to change that. It's one of the first machines in the country to allow you to buy and sell Bitcoin. We've got some youngsters, 15 years old, buying their Bitcoin at five or at a time, maybe putting their pocket money or if they've got a part-time job, putting it in there. And then you've got serious traders that are coming in and they're putting in their 250 allowances and they might be coming with a group of three or four people and they're buying it, they're trading it, they're selling it. So if I want to buy Bitcoin, I push the button, agree to the £10 fee per transaction, and then I just feed in cash down below in the slot, and then I hold up my phone, the machine scans a code, and it downloads my Bitcoin, or more likely bits of a Bitcoin, onto the wallet on my phone. Round the corner, one Coventry nightclub is tweaking its tills to accept Bitcoin as payment and eventually even Bitcoin tips for the staff. We're trying to convince the staff that if they do receive a tip via Bitcoin, leave it there because it may in the future be worth an awful lot of money. It might see them right one day, but we never know. It fluctuates up and down. The price of Bitcoin is massively volatile and even fans say Bitcoin poses other risks for the unwary, not least because it's uniquely vulnerable. Any country can bring it down. Uh, it only takes enough infrastructure, enough computers, um, enough regulatory powers, and they can bring it down overnight. As with any investment, buyer be very aware. <laughs> Someone in the studio just said, mm, not sure I entirely <laughs> trust it. I think I'm with them. Who is Bitcoin for? Well, it's not for the faint-hearted, to be honest. It is unregulated. All these coins are unregulated. It is financial Wild West territory out there. And if something goes wrong, you can't go and appeal to anyone. It's not like you can go to the bank manager and get things sorted. You are on your own. And yes, people like James are making money, but I did talk to people who've lost a lot of money. It's just they're not the ones who want to appear on Midlands today. No, I, what a surprise. I assume some people are getting rich through this. Yeah, James has turned £500 into, well, £200,000 of coins in investment online. He hasn't pulled it out just yet. But as he said, that has been as high as £360,000. And most of us don't want our savings to sort of balloon and shrink like that. It's not a very pleasant experience. And remember, there are other people out there using these coins as well. So they're used to buy drugs on the dark web. They are used, well, basically as ways of paying people for blackmail. Uh, and then there are just scams and Ponzi schemes. So, yeah, some people like James may well get rich, but then some people might win the lottery. And as they almost used to say on the lottery, it might be you, but it probably won't be. <laughs> yes, buyer beware, I think. David, thanks very much.